All right, so this is a video to demonstrate how to upgrade a HP Notebook 15 DB0088TA laptop. And all that I'm doing is installing an SSD because the hard drive that this shipped with, um, well, it's just slowed down and I think an SSD will really help. And in another video that I did, it demonstrated that um, there's little more that you can upgrade with this particular model of the HP uh, Notebook 15 DB series. Um, it's pretty well limited to one RAM stick and uh, one drive, unless you do some modifications on the uh, plastic case here that I'm about to remove. So anyway, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and we'll start off with taking out the four screws. And now the next phase is taking off these rubber bumpers that act as a, to probably to lift up the laptop to allow for airflow for the CPU fan and the heatsink. So uh, a small flathead screwdriver will do the trick. And you just need to lift it up and try not to break it like I did right here. I've already taken this apart before. Um, and as you can see, the bumper is coming off quite easily. And the more you take it off, the more it might appear that uh, it might be helpful to apply more glue just to keep it on. But for the purposes of this video, this comes off very quickly. So there's a bunch of screws underneath each of these that you have to take out in order to access the motherboard. All right, so now we have all the screws taken out and it looks like there's four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 screws total. Let's put them off to the side and now oh, we can begin to score the outside of the palm rest here um, to gently lift off the back cover. The back cover is the only piece that comes off. Everything else is connected to the palm rest. And to do that, I've got a, a fairly thick uh, guitar pick that'll do just the trick.
Okay, so now we have the back cover off. And as I demonstrated in my last video regarding this laptop, um, I should point out that probably higher tier models of the Notebook 15 will have an option to install an M2 heart SSD right here. There's even a screw to, to put it in, but as you can see here on the motherboard, there isn't actually any, anything uh, connected to it, as well as the second RAM chip. Um, other models will have uh, more options to upgrade, and it'd be really great if this one did too. Uh, you can even see here there's room for an optical drive, but here on the back plate there's this plastic grill to avoid putting one in, so I suppose you could order a new, uh, order a different, uh, a different model case and install a optical drive because the connection's right here on the board, but otherwise the only thing we can really do is, uh, beyond upgrading the 4 gigabyte DDR4 RAM chip, is replace the SSD, or the hard drive with an SSD. So we'll go ahead and do that. So all you have to do is gently lift up. There's no screws holding it in place. I think it's because I, I might have taken the screws out and not put them back in previously. And it just pulls out just like that. Now we just need to remove it from the caddy and replace it with the SSD. In this case, I have a 128 gigabyte Toshiba solid state drive refurbished. Um, and that's gonna probably provide a pretty nice little boost for the system and keep it running for a number of years to come. Because otherwise, apart from all the um, unfortunate upgrades I can't do on this model, just installing this SSD, there, there's nothing wrong with the model necessarily, just uh, it has its limitations. Okay, so my video cut off there, but all I was doing was this uh, screwing in this bracket on my, the uh, new Toshiba solid state drive. And now I'm going to install it. So it's quite easy. Just line it up with the SATA ports and gently push it in. And we have two screws here to put in. Okay, so now we have that installed. I think I'll just lightly put the case back on and I'll worry about putting the screws in after I'm done installing Windows. So, and I'm going to save this 500 gigabyte hard drive to install it in a different laptop. So I have a copy of Windows 10 ready to go on my USB. I'm just going to quickly pause the video and we'll get to the install. Okay, so we now have Windows 10 uh, install ready to go. I have my USB booted right here and I think I'm just going to cut the video here and I'll come back and we'll go through a little demo of how the system works with the SSD installed. If it's uh, a lot faster or just a little bit faster or just how it works.
So stay tuned. Okay, and like in many of my videos, I like to demonstrate what I do right before I install Windows. And I have a new solid state drive, hard drive, or a combination of both installed. Um, I like to hold down shift, hit F10, then I'll pull up command prompt. And what I like to do then is enter disk partition. So it's a little hard to see here. So I'll just try to focus here before I move on. Okay. So you want to type disk part, D I S K P A R T, enter list disk. And here we have our drives lined up. And we'll select disk zero, the SSD. Select disk zero, enter, and we'll type clean. Just to make doubly sure that it's all wiped and ready to go. Just something I, I have would have picked up over the last couple of years. All right, so now we're ready to install. Okay, I'll pause the video and we'll come back to test out Windows 10 on this machine. Okay, now that we have Windows 10 installed and up and running, everything seems to be working just fine. Um, pretty quick response. Uh, the dual core CPU is working all right. Um, four gigabytes DDR4 RAM. Let's see how I downloaded uh, Google Chrome just for uh, testing. We'll try searching up some YouTube videos and then we'll try one game just to give an idea of what kind of performance we can expect from this laptop. So it's pretty good so far. Deadline tomorrow. And your computer just crashed. It's switching time to a Chromebook that protects you from security threats online. Switch to built-in virus protection. Switch to Chromebook. It's uh, pouring down. <laughs> I should be keeping my hood up the whole time because I'm Okay, it seems to work pretty well and Let's try opening up this game called King Rabbit Just a nice simple example of what we can play on a machine like this There's many different options, but this is just something I had in my Steam library. All right, so everything's working pretty well, and hopefully this gives you an, an idea of how um, well this computer can still perform if you choose to swap out the hard drive with a solid state drive and give it a little bit more life. So if you find this model of HP is slowing down for you, 
that might be a good option. Just simple upgrade and I'm pretty sure that this laptop will be running just fine for the near future at least. So hopefully this uh, little tutorial helped you out and hopefully you learned something and thanks a lot for watching.